Good morning, happy Sunday to you. Um, this is a video about the next leg of the Fender of Way, which I did on Friday. I was going to do the complete completion today, which is Sunday, but the weather is a little warm, to say the least, and we're expecting high 30s, possibly low 40s for the next couple of days. So um, I thought it best not to go out uh, and get burnt more than anything. So, yeah, before we get onto the walk itself, a couple of things. Um, I said the other day that I was going to drive to Ely and get the train to Water Beach and then walk back. So what I actually did is um, inspired a little bit by some of the videos I've been watching about train travel. I actually bought myself a rail card and um, it's £30 for a year. And with that, you get a third of every train journey basically so I'm expecting the amount of train journeys I'm taking at the moment I could save that quite quickly and I also came across a thing on one of the channels I was watching um, about split tickets I don't know if you've ever heard of these but it's often cheaper to buy single tickets uh, rather than um, a straight through and this is hard to explain really if for example in my case i wanted to go to london on the train i'd get a greater anglia train from brandon but i'd have to change at cambridge and then get the one into king's cross um, you can buy a ticket straight through and um, but what you can also do is buy a single to cambridge and then a single to london and that actually works out cheaper um, and if you do the returns, again, you, a lot of the returns I'm discovering, you only pay an extra 10 pence sometimes. Um, I was looking at one the other day to get from Brandon to Ipswich, which is quite awkward by train. Excuse me. Um, but if I just bought the, the ticket straight off, it was £32. You had to go buy a Norwich. And um, I discovered that by doing a split ticket, i.e. getting a single from Brandon to Norwich and then a single from Norwich to Ipswich, it worked out at £21. Um, you can actually buy a split ticket even if you don't get off the train. So, for example, if you're going from London to Edinburgh, you get a, a ticket from London to York and then a ticket from York to Edinburgh, it's cheaper. And you don't even have to, have to get off the train. So that's worth looking into. And there's an app I use called Trainline and up to recently, they've never uh, offered this. But I noticed the other day that the, the latest version of the app shows split tickets as well. So you can use the train app still and um, book your tickets that way. If you do an advance ticket, um, you can get places very cheaply. For example, I'm planning on going to London uh, the week after next to visit Covent Garden. And I think I, I can get there and back for about £13. So uh, shop around if you're using the train, um, split tickets, rail cards, you can get rail cards for everything. I think there's about 20 different versions of them now, depending on your age or um, or what you actually want. So it's worth looking into. So that's what I did on Friday. I actually took the train from Brandon to, where did I go to? I went to Water Beach and then walked back from Water Beach to Ely and then got the train back again. So I didn't have to use the car at all. Um, so that's, that's worth looking into. I'm very becoming very much a fan of train travel. Um, it is actually cheaper to take the train than to take the car now because of the price of diesel, and then you've got to park everywhere, and um, and it's less tiring. It's much more relaxing, and you get to see a lot of things you wouldn't normally. So I advocate the use of trains and uh, train tickets and and um, any tra rank train cards, rail cards you can get hold of. So that's how I got to do the fourth part of my walk. I'm obviously not doing it in the order from Cambridge to Kings Lynn, but one thing I did find, um, I found some videos and some um, websites about the Fen Rivers Way. And the one I found for the stretch from Water Beach to, Cape, to Ely confused me quite a lot because on all the maps and all the videos and all the um, narratives that I found online, 
the uh, walk takes you up the east, uh, the western side of the river cam, and then you cross a bridge where the two rivers meet, and then up to Ely. But when I got to the station, I got out and I walked towards the river. The signage for Fen Rivers Way actually takes you up the eastern side of the river. And it is way marked all the way up to Ely. So uh, I'm guessing you could possibly do it either side. Um, I just happened to go up the east side. And this walk was a lot more uh, interesting, a lot more things going on. I put quite a few photos up on my Facebook page. If you want to have a look at those, uh, there's, there's a few marinas on the way. Um, I came across at least four, um, a few sluice gates and locks and what they call around here loads, L-O-D-E. It's basically a local word for key. This is where the barges used to go and we can load and unload. There's actually in Brandon, there's a road called um, Load Road or Load Key or something. Um, and then it's quite a long walk, but again, it's not a difficult walk because it's flat. Um, unfortunately, my, my phone battery died just as I got to where the cam and the great ooze meet. Um, and that's about three miles from Ely, I suppose. And then you can actually see the cathedral from there as well, looming up in the distance, which is uh, quite encouraging. Um, some very, very large willow trees as well. Incredible size willow trees. Um, there's a couple of fields you have to walk through with cows and bulls in, but they didn't bother me. If you're not scared of them, they're, they're not scared of you. I saw some fantastic wildlife, um, quite a few birds which I don't see very often. I saw um, egrets, I saw a heron, and a heron in flight is beautiful. Uh, lots of geese, grey lag geese mostly. And uh, I was very fortunate to see a, a couple of oyster catchers um, flying down the river as well. Um, evidence of possible oyster beds on some of the banks along the river cam especially. Um, lots of uh, leisure craft going up and down. Um, going up the east side of the river like I did, there's um, an outward bound centre, about halfway I suppose, and obviously geared up for educational purposes, but they, they, they keep the area beautifully, it's very well man managed, and they've created a sort of a picnic area down by the river, where I stopped for a bike, and uh, these boats poodling up and down the river. There was one long boat who was literally going along walking pace, I was walking alongside it for a good mile or so before it turned up the river great ooze and then you get up to the um to the city of ely and when they built the bypass a few years back because of the horrendous nine foot high low bridge and the level crossing that lorries had to use that's now taken out of service it's just the bridge there now but they built a bypass to the south um, connecting soham round to the a10 and when they did that they built this really nice footbridge runs adjacent to it as well so uh, that's where you can cross the river to get back to Ely from the eastern side of the river I think if you go a bit further up there's another road bridge as well so and the temperature it was quite warm when I started um, with the sun out but then it clouded over and it became quite comfortable then um, I don't quite know how far it was I reckon it's probably the longest walk I've done so far um, it was about 13 miles end to end and um, it was good. I'm not feeling too stiff after it, so I'm obviously getting used to it now. Like I said, I've still got the one leg to go from Cambridge to Water Beach, and um, I'm planning to do that possibly next weekend. Um, I'm away this coming week, uh, coming back Friday, and so I'm looking to go to London. I'm looking to go to finish off that walk, and then maybe look around and see some other walks. I know you can walk along the River Gipping, from Stone Market to Ipswich, that's another one where I could get the train. A uh, bit of a faff to get there by train, but it's okay, I'll have all day to do it. I have done the walk before, um, so maybe I'll, I'll, I'll look at something else a bit further afield. So, um, Fen River's Way is looking really nice, um, but th this particular leg was, um, like I say, a lot more interesting, a lot more to see. And um, I thoroughly recommend it. If you love long walks, this is a good one. And the trains really help because you can get a train to any of five, six different destinations along the route. And uh, it's a good day out. So I recommend it, see the photos, and I'll update you when I do the last leg of it, uh, which actually you have to walk through the middle of Cambridge to do as well. So that could be quite quite interesting. So like I say, meantime, I'm off to Essex next week. 
If I find anything there interesting, I might do some walks along the coast or inland a little bit. I'll let you know. So have a great week and I'm going to have a shave.